Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Roger here once again and tonight I'm really excited. I've got such a special recipe. It's pan fried mackerel with rhubarb and orange chutney. Now the rhubarb was given to me by a very good friend and neighbour of ours who's just down the road, Janet. Thank you so much Janet. This rhubarb will not go to waste. We'll definitely be enjoying that tonight. Stay with me guys and you'll enjoy this recipe so much. Just open some rhubarb. We're going to need some light brown sugar, about two and a half ounces, one whole orange, but we're just going to use the juice, some ginger, about half an inch, that's going to be finely chopped, some rhubarb, one red onion, some white wine vinegar, salt and pepper for seasoning, some raisins. To give our chutney some added sweetness, so off we go, into a pan, on the hob, on low heat, we go with our sugar. Now we let this caramelise until it goes like this, starts to look tasty. In with our raisins, give them a little mix around. Then we can go in with our rosemary and our chopped onion. Quite small, as you can see. That's it, in that goes. In with our ginger. This really gives it a lovely flavour. Then in with our rhubarb. I've got about three sticks here. Then we're going to give this a mix round. Incorporate all of those flavours and get that caramelised sugar over everything. Then we can go in with some liquid. In with the orange juice. In with the white wine vinegar. You want about two or three tablespoons, not too much because it will be quite sharp. Now you've got to remember guys, at the end when you taste it, if it's a little bit too sharp, add a little bit more sugar. We're going to need some seasoning, some lovely sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, in that goes. Another mix, oh that's looking good. Then we go outside onto the barbecue. Well, it's not really the barbecue, it's a grill bit on the side. In with a fair amount of olive oil, and then put our mackerel in. This is the easy part, really. We're going to put that in skin side down, get a nice brown on it. Once it's got that colour, we can flip it over. And flip over the other bit. Oh, there we go. Delish. Now to plate up. That looks tasty, doesn't it? And for those of you that don't like fish, this chutney takes away the fish taste. Quite a bit. Fish is good for you. Now for our taste test. Mmm-mmm. That tastes mighty good, guys. Please try it for yourself. See you next time, and thanks for watching.